Hi, I'm Shannon Baker, and today I'm here in Moorhead City, North Carolina, where a local law enforcement agency is adding a new member to the crew. Let's check it out. My name is Tyler Hayes. I'm a trainer and instructor with East Coast K-9 Incorporated. So we got Ranger. Uh, Ranger came to us. We got a call from uh, some of our friends that work at um, Edgecombe County Animal Shelter, and they said that they had rescued two Malinois from an unfortunate situation. Uh, Ranger showed the most promise of being a being able to be a police working dog, and uh, so we agreed to take him and partner with a foundation, Mona Pants Foundation, who uh, helped with funding you know, his vet bills and cost of food and stuff like that. While we trained him, and uh, with the purpose of donating him to a, a local law enforcement agency, so what we did is we left it open where agencies could submit a letter of interest. We had numerous letters, um, phone calls, and everything come in. Um, the one that stood out to us the most was Moorhead City. What I appreciated about the most is the handler was putting in a lot of the legwork to make the program happen. I was very impressed with his letter of interest. Because um, in my law enforcement career, that's all I ever wanted to do was be a canine handler. So um, I appreciated how much work he was putting into it. And with his donation, um, we are also donating the training. Um, he'll go through a whole eight week uh, basic canine handler course. Um, as well as future in-service training, um, monthly or quarterly, however they want to work it out with you know getting the dog trained. Uh, they'll come to us. All of that will be included for the life of the dog. And I'm thankful to East Coast Canine for for selecting us. Um, you know, the, there's so many ways a dog program, a working dog program, can benefit the community. Whether it's doing our part to combat the drug drug epidemic that's that's rampant all across the country, or public relations, or and so many other things. Um, so um, I'm super excited to, to have this opportunity and, and appreciative. I'm grateful to Officer Jones for his passion uh, and, and putting in the, the work to make this happen. Uh, we've had canines in the past, and, and I know from that experience that it, that it takes that for it to be successful. So I'm thankful to him for, for stepping up. I am Officer Justin Jones, and I'm a patrolman at the Morton City Police Department. So as soon as I saw the post, uh, the first thing I saw that the Mona Pants Foundation was going to donate the dog along with East Coast Canine. Um, with that being said, I believe these dogs aren't cheap, so I believe anything that any help that we can get is is going to be is good. So I've never been a canine handler before. Um, I'm going on four years of law enforcement, and I'm I'm super excited to get on with the canine handler program. In my opinion, any day that you can go to work with a dog is a good day, so I assume the training is going to be the same way. It's, obviously, it's going to have its fun, it's going to have its ups and downs, it's going to have its tough times, but I, I'm really excited to get on with the, with the training and program. I want to say thank you to the Chief of Police uh, from Warhead City. I want to say thanks to the Captain and also my Sergeant, Sergeant Miller, uh, that's been on board with me 110% with this. I want to say thanks to my wife for sending me the Facebook post. Um, and in two short weeks, here we are, and we're... Get, getting ready to start the program, so.